Welcome back to another episode of Made Up. I'm your host, Danny Volk, and we are in the studio of Pascal Teoregbu. <laughs> So I, I punched it. <laughs> I've been practicing the last name, and um, yeah. you can do it again. Welcome back to another episode of Made Up. I'm your host, Danny Volk, and we are in the studio of Pascal Teilhegbu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is gonna happen. Maybe you can just say it. Maybe you can just say it like. <laughs> <laughs> like um. in English or something like <laughs> Do, do people get your last name wrong here in Canada? Because I find that Canadians don't know about Spanish like we do in the States. Like, I tried to make a joke about queso cheese, and people were like, what's queso? Here? Yeah. Really? Do you know queso? Yeah. Okay. Well, I know Spanish. Are you from Quebec? Mm-hmm. Okay. I said that right, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, but then if you want to go, like, the full French way, it would be Quebec. Quebec. Que well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Quebec. 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 <laughs> so, not Canadian. No. Danny, are you ready to get made up? Yes. Great. What do you think of Banff? Well, I mean, I enjoy it because I've always liked outdoors. You know, the outdoors and hiking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like when people get to to Banff and start doing like wilderness stuff, mm -hmm. but then this time I kind of start, started doing wilderness stuff um, because I just decided not to resist and to kind of just indulge into it. So you have a really nice view here in your studio. Yeah, I mean there's a tree, but it's fine. Um, does the view inspire you at all? Uh, no, it doesn't inspire me, but I guess it's easier to think it allows me to think farther. So what kind of work do you do here in your studio? Or what, how do you use your studio? So I use my studio maybe to try out stuff. Not sound, but more maybe movements or gestures. And sometimes just playing with objects. But usually my studio is like the first like the first time experimentations often happen here, mm -hmm. where they're often small, smaller scale, and then I redo it somewhere else. So when you're not here, do you have a studio, or do you find that you need one? That's the thing, I feel like I need more equipment, and soundproof spaces, and, and mirrors than, than a typical art studio. So right now I'm actually thinking about that. Like, Thinking about my studio going back, I'm gonna need to buy my own equipment or find a place where they have those those resources. Do you consider yourself a performance artist? Very, I'm not like an improviser or a performance artist like a lot of people here are, but I feel more comfortable still in that environment. I feel like maybe a lot of people in this residency don't do traditional performance art. Yeah. So, how does performance factor into your work? There's always been a performative aspect to my work, and there's always been, not always, but there's often been people in my work. And then I used video to kind of document what was happening with those people. I would give them directions or, you know, just whether it would be just one direction or like a more complex set of instructions and then document them or see how they would react and play with kind of ambiguity in the language and stuff like that. So I, I never felt like I was the performer. It was kind of, ah, oh, there was this delegated performance. What I like in my work is the feedback. I like to be an observer and seeing how things go and kind of understanding a little bit more about my work through other people's reactions. How did you start out? I started 
doing a bit of photography and then uh, it kind of led me to video. Mm. But in my, because in Quebec we have CIGEP, which is like two years of pre university schooling after high school. And it's kind of a little bit more general, but I still went in. Uh, the stream was like cinematography. I've always been more interested in kind of real life than actual art. I don't really like referencing art or. Yeah, it's something that I'm just not interested in. I know art always has a link with life, mm -hmm. but then if it's kind of referenced over and over and over and over again, then to me, I don't see the meaning in it anymore. Mm -hmm. What kinds of real life things inspire your work? Like, or what are you drawing from? Things like walking, eating. Like before, I used to do a lot of things with kind of personal, like, intimate gestures on ourselves, which was, like, washing and stuff like that. Even though no one maybe sees them, I feel like they're really significant and meaningful, and they're as, as important as the more, more grandiose gestures. At some point I got interested in walking, even the mechanics of walking, because it's so simple, but it's so ubiquitous, and to me, I felt like it has it had a broader meaning in terms of humanity, you know, like now we're walking and and we have no idea of how we're actually doing it. And there's a lot of also, you know, walking can, you can use it in your favor or... Yeah, or even like politically, there's like marches on Washington yeah. in the States or like... Do you have anything coming up this year? No, not really. Just gonna keep working, applying for residencies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I think I need to, cause actually, what in the program, I was really, while I was there, I was studying. I mean, I moved to Vancouver, you know, to study, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to stay or not. So, I maybe didn't really get invested as much, um, like in the art community in Vancouver outside of the master's program. I know I feel like now that I've kind of decided to stay for about a year, um, now I feel like I have to, yeah, just be proactive a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also hard for me to present my work if I'm not entirely satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll keep you updated. Do you have a title for it? Oh, Gorilla. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Pascal Terregu. <laughs> I can't do it. Pascal Ter Ter Terregu. <laughs> I'm glad you don't find this offensive. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Thank you for this makeup job. You're welcome, I really enjoyed it. Oh good, and thanks for letting us in your studio. We wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. This has been Made Up with Danny Volk. We'll see you next time. Okay.